Hi I am Fazil and welcome to you know. What is a superpower without an aircraft carrier or two? In today's video, we dive deep into the epic world of warships, focusing on China's latest edition, the Shandong. Stay tuned as we unravel the details and explore its capabilities that are making waves in the global naval landscape. Segment 1, Shandong Unveiled Picture this, a seagoing airport, fully equipped with a control tower, flight deck, and all necessary facilities. Enter the Shandong, China's second aircraft carrier, challenging the dominance of the United States in the Pacific. Segment 2, Shandong's Evolution Let's rewind to its origins. Originally designed as a Type 001A air carrier, the Shandong underwent a sneaky little upgrade, making it a Type 002 by the time of completion. Built entirely in China, it boasts significant upgrades compared to its predecessor, the Liaoning. Segment 3, Shandong's Arsenal Size matters, and the Shandong is no exception. With a displacement of 55,000 tons, it's the largest warship built in China. But it's not just about size, it's what's on the inside that counts. The Shandong houses an impressive array of aircraft, from the J-15 fighter jet to the Z-18 transport helicopter. Segment 4, Shandong vs. Global Powers Comparing it to its U.S. counterparts, the Shandong holds its own, able to carry a diverse set of aircraft. However, it lacks the airborne early warning capability, a weakness compared to the advanced systems on U.S. carriers. Segment 5, Strategic Intentions now, let's delve into the strategic intentions behind the Shandong. With tensions rising in the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait, China aims to use its carrier fleet as a counterweight to U.S. naval power. But what does this mean for the geopolitical landscape? Segment 6, Shandong's Role in Regional Tensions The Shandong is not just a military asset, it's a symbol of China's assertiveness. With plans to deploy multiple carriers, including the upcoming Type 003, China is positioning itself as a dominant force in the region. What does this mean for neighboring countries and potential conflicts? As China continues to build its naval capabilities, the Shandong stands as a testament to its ambition. How will this impact global geopolitics? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay informed.